Hello friends, welcome back to our mission to tutorials. In this video, we will discuss about proxy. So what is a proxy and what is the main purpose of using proxy? Proxy is a technique to identify the performance issues with the help of logging and uh, error handling, but it cannot directly fix the performance issues or page load time. For example, you have created a module for price import uh, and it's loading the prices from API. For that you have product classes, API classes, configurations from admin and uh, even mail related classes also added in the constructor. If you observe we are not only adding specific product repositories or API classes as dependencies in the constructor. The parent class constructors also we are adding in the current class. So if you check the scenarios where we will use the proxies. So if your price import API has some issues and it was not working as expected. In this case, what is the use of uh, loading the complete class of mails, product classes uh, in the constructor? The solution for this, we can use proxy here to load the product objects and mails and other configuration classes when API giving correct response. Otherwise, we will not load that classes. The second scenario is uh, your custom class has large number of dependencies and those will have parent constructors as extending it, which forms circular dependency and memory consumption. In this scenario also, you need a proxy to put the logs and error handling by delaying uh, a specific method calls. Simply, your website page load time has increased and you know specific uh, class causes. So prefer proxy in this scenario to identify performance issues. As I discussed, uh, proxies are for delaying object initialization. We found uh, the concept of uh, lazy loading. Proxy for lazy loading, which means the object initialized or called with some delay and when it is really needed why you need uh, why you need to delay it because delaying the objects help us to uh, identify the performance issues like uh, logging error handling and uh, along with that uh, we are able to load the object whenever we required not whenever uh, the class added as a dependency in the constructor so remember we will not use the proxies for every scenario but in real time you can use it for import functionalities api calls uh, da database changes or any other resource intensive tasks now we will check with one example how to define the proxy class here you will see i have created all the price import related changes in this file one of the scenario i mentioned that uh, we can use proxies for price import now let's see how to create a proxy for uh, price import functionality. I have a price import model file. Here I am adding the product repository, API dependencies in the constructor. If you have email configuration then uh, more dependencies need to be added in the constructor. Now getting to the point where we can use the proxies in this class. As I told earlier proxies are useful for logging, error handling and uh, lazy loading means load the object with some delay or whenever it is needed you know whenever we load the class constructor all the dependencies will be loaded by the object manager it means all the dependencies here will be loaded immediately whenever this class object is initialized so it will take some time to load these objects and uh, increases page load time in some scenarios so to avoid this we use proxies how to define a proxy it's simple take the base class and add it in the day.xml file so this is my day.xml i have created type passing the base class and arguments so what type of argument it is it is a proxy object okay so this this is the way you can add the proxy you see here this is the constructor dependency we added in the price import model file this helper data right we added that in the constructor so just add this proxy at the end this will become as a proxy class like that I am adding the product repository interface proxy which is added in the price import model product repository interface okay after you added this type and arguments in the di.xml these objects will be created in the generated code folder so this helper data is inside of this module so the proxy will be created under this module if you added this catalog product repository interface so this will be created under this magento catalog module if you observe here we are not adding any extra class with the help of this proxy we just added this dependency to the base class constructor okay 
so what it will do it when you run the di compile it will automatically generate a class for you virtually okay you don't need to create any extra proxy class like what you did for the virtual types okay now let's see in real time uh, these classes will be really created after you run the di compile or not set up di compile I will show you where you will find this. Go to this generated folder, code, web dev, hello world, helper. So we have created the proxy for this data, right? So under the data, you have this file. So this is how you can define and uh, generate a proxy class in Machine to okay so i hope you understand if you are not uh, still convinced or uh, you have any queries just add it in the comment section i'll try to resolve it okay so if you have uh, a better thoughts on this one just add it in the comment section okay we will discuss on that one you see in the proxy the main purpose of this proxy is we are not loading the class immediately so we are loading the class after certain response getting or after uh, uh, after some time so here in this functionality we are calling this repository and getting the api response for example if this api response is failed then no need of this product repository to be loaded in the constructor so for that purpose we needed the proxy to load whenever this uh, main base class is loaded okay so that is the main reason why we are using the proxies so it helps to reduce the memory consumption as well as uh, uh, for the performance issue and logging purpose. Still we have not covered all the changes in the backend but we will cover in the upcoming tutorials. From the next video onwards we will discuss on the front end related changes. How you can create a custom theme, how you can create a product, admin configuration. So all these changes we will cover in the next videos. Okay. Thanks for watching.